question is from Sean <coughs> Barry. Good evening. Um, the Treasury Secretary, Martin Parkinson, says we must push ahead with pro-market economic reforms in Australia. Um, why are our politicians not capable of making the difficult decisions uh, that need to be made right now? Uh, why have we lost our nerve uh, that we had perhaps back in the 80s and early 90s to make the economic reforms that are possible? Have we become too relaxed and comfortable? Uh, the tax changes that need to be made, uh, perhaps removing negative gearing, there's a popular one, um, and so forth, need to be done. Um, are we squibbing now? and risking the future of generations to come. Tony, so, I must say this. Y so. You know, the question was a very good question. But you must understand that you live in a country that can't produce an electric motor, a tyre, and within nine years will not produce a motor car. Within three years, and here's the figures, I always bring them with because people don't believe me. Within three years, if you want to use different evidence, eight years, this country will be an importer of food. It will not be able to feed itself. Now, is there any long-term planning here? Is there any long-term commitment to policies that will enable us to produce enough food for us to stay alive in this country? Or we have to buy it from overseas? I mean, Bob, almost I think, everything I think to, in this to be country honest, Bob, is foreign I'm owned I'm as gonna, well. Bob, I'm going mean, to interrupt, I'm gonna interrupt you there because I know for right, sure not, there are questions yeah, on right, that subject right, coming right, up later. But, but, but uh, the answers okay, are there briefly. and the policies are there. Okay. And we most certainly believe that we have them. Very good question. Good question. Tim Nichols. Yeah, Sean, um, I think uh, that um, there has been a tapering off of um, desire for people to see reform in the economy. I think uh, that has been the case uh, here in Queensland where we are endeavouring to do that uh, through implementation of reviews and changes uh, to drive uh, improvements in productivity. Um, there has been um, a reluctance in the past for the difficult decisions to be made, but this government has been about making those decisions. So privatisation, Tim? Well, that's about, uh, it's, about driving, it's about driving productivity reform because what we've seen over the last well, decade is that the productive capacity in Queensland is less than it was a decade ago. Well, uh, so we can't continue to deliver the services. The state has had negative growth in the last year, Tim. Well, in fact... <laughs> well, Bob... Well, Bob, well, Bob that would be good if it wasn't, in fact, false, what you're saying. Uh, the state has had growth of 3.5% in the last 12 months. Um, and, uh, and whilst uh, it may suit you to say that, in fact, it's not the reality, it's not true, well, and it's not borne out... Well, what point of time you want to use, Tim, well, 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 you're I, using one very favourable to you. I, I, use, I use the point of time of the 12 months we're currently in, Bob, because yeah. that's the reality we live in. I'm just going to... It's, gonna, it's, I'm not, put, it's I'm not a 1950s I'm going to put this, world, this, world put this part of the debate on pause, because we've got a couple of questions coming up on that. 